everyone. In this little video, I'm going to show you how to use the flood fill. I will often refer to it as the bucket tool, just because it looks like a little paint bucket. All right, now if we click on that, we'll see that we've got all of these little options here. All right, so the very first thing is it's going to do a solid fill. All right, and it will fill with whatever color I currently have selected in my color wheel there. Other option is you can do a linear um, transition or gradient. Okay, you can notice here I've got three different dots that I can use. When I click and drag on any of these, you'll see that it will change how much my gradient, whether it's soft or whether it's quite um, abruptly changing. You can also click on these, double click, and you can change the colors, and you can do that to all three. And then you can have a gradient between different colors. Okay, you can even extend, so if you want something that's pre-created, pre, um, um, you can do that as well using those there. You can also color puck. So if you had something already on here, um, you can then change those colors using your color puck. All right, press a little X to get rid of them. Sorry. So that's your gradient linear. So you can do that up and down. It doesn't have to be um, side to side. You can do it on an angle as well. You can rotate these across and, and so on. You can do lots of really cool things with that. All right, which brings us to the radio radial, which is circular. So I then have the same options. Okay, I can move these anywhere on my screen. I can change the colors like I did before. I can also sample different layers. I can also switch. So if I want the colors to start in the middle, or if I want them to start on the outside, you can also flip those around using that option there. All right, you can also use this little guy here, which will change the tolerance of your um, of your of your um, gradient there. All right, and then you can cancel or OK what you've done. Yep, I'm happy with what I've done, or I can close it. All right, so that's the fill. So you've got a solid, you've got a linear, and you've got a radial or circular um, option when it comes to doing your colors. Enjoy that, guys.